In this video, we're going to look at how we can change our slide looks automatically as we go through our presentation. Let's get started. All right, so here we are in ProPresenter and we have our service set up. We've got a few announcements, MC spot. We've been adding things as we've made these videos, so it's getting a little bit messy now. We've got a song, we've got another MC spot, message and sermon, and another song. And so what we want to do is we want to be able to have different looks applied at different times. So we've set this up. So we've got our congregation looks just here. So if we flick through our song, there's our song. And then we have our live stream looks like that. And so we want to have the ability to change between these looks automatically when I get down to the sermon and things like that, because at the moment it's looking a bit funky and we might not want it to look like that. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I am going to apply my looks automatically. So all that I need to do is up here where my song is, I'm going to apply a look for my lower third. So right click, add action, audience look, lower third songs. If you're not sure how to set up looks, go and watch our other video. So there's our song and now it's set up for our lower thirds. When I come down here, I want to use a different look when I get to my MC spot and my message. So what I'm going to do is I've already got my theme set up. So theme editor, I've got my lower third with my transparent background and then I've got my message slide. So I've just made a quick little example here and it's going to look like that. So I need to go into screens and edit my looks and I'm going to set up another look and I'm going to name this one lower thirds message because it's going to be for lower thirds and my message slides on here I want the slide the media I don't want video input because we're not using that I'm not going to use my announcement props and for my live stream my theme is going to be my lower thirds message slides theme that I've created. So there we go. I'm just going to actually untick media. So now if I come down here to my message slides, I'm going to add an action. So right click, add action, audience look, lower thirds message. Now when I click this, I get my lower thirds message, but we've got a couple of issues here and I'll explain why we have issues so that if you're doing this, you can fix them. I have my title and my subtitle. In here, I've got point, supporting point three, point one. We're missing a couple of points in there. This text fixed properly in here compared to on my slide. This one just says description of the photo because that's what it says down here. And these ones fit well. Now, if you want to know why, in here, if I go and edit that slide, it's got a title and a subtitle box. In my theme, it only has one text box. So when it tries to turn this into this look, it's taking two different text boxes and trying to deal with one in the look. So it's put the subtitle down here and it's just put the title in the middle. When we go over here, same deal applies. It's trying to figure out how to sort of put the different text into the text box because if I go to this slide here I've got one two three four five different text boxes so if you're going to do this and you want one text box down the bottom make sure your slides only use one text box so it knows where to put it like this one here one text box puts it in the right place so that's how we can do that and so what you'll notice is as I go through ProPresenter will hold the same look once it's been applied until it reaches another look. So if I just go through all of my song here, my MC spot two here, it's going to stay the same, same look, because it hasn't reached another one. But as soon as it changes here on this slide, it'll go to the new look. If I was on this slide and then I accidentally jumped back to this song, it'll use the look that it was using and still apply it. And it just holds on to that until it reaches another slide with the look. So if I click back onto here, so this is our first look. Looks like that. If I accidentally skip this slide, 
all of my sleds will keep looking like that. But if I hit that one and then come through, they'll all keep looking like that. So down here on this next song, we're going to add action, audio look, lower third songs because it's another song. And you'll notice as we come through now, there's my message. When I get to the song, it automatically changes to the next look because I've applied that slide there and I've applied the look to that slide. So as long as I go through that slide, it'll automatically change that look. The last thing is if you want to edit them, you can right click and click edit actions and you can choose what to edit. I've also got a timer set up here, but I can click edit audience look and change it to whichever other look I need. If you're not sure about setting up looks, check it out a looks video and that will explain it. But that is how easy it is to automate your slides and looks.